The most important thing is if you've spent a lot of your year saving up, preparing for a holiday, that when you actually take the holiday, that it all goes off safely and without incident. Safety is very important because many a caravan holiday has been ruined by people just not being prepared. When it comes to safety, it's just really down to common sense. And obviously that will involve insurance for your car, and it's not mandatory, but we recommend that people do have cover for their caravan as a separate item. First of all, get, make sure your caravan matches your car, yeah? Make sure your caravan's ready for the road, and that includes getting the tyre pressures right, making sure the torque settings are right on those wheel nuts, and making sure your lights work. People tend to forget caravan tyres. The poor old caravan has to rest on these. It can be stood still on these for many, many months, and then it's asked to go and travel 100 and 152 miles down roads with potholes and everything. So you must check your tyres. Tyres are interesting because people forget that that's the main thing that actually keeps them on the road when they're travelling. When it comes to tyre pressures, keeping an eye on them when you're on the road is going to be obviously rather difficult. Car manufacturers have been putting a, a tyre pressure um, device in most cars, so if you've got a problem with a tyre, a puncture probably on its way, it'll tell you. But that's also now happening with the little devices which you can get for your caravan. A product I've just seen called Tyre Pal, which monitors the, the pressure of your, of your tyres. Um, and that's the tyres on the car as well as the caravan. Very useful. The tyre um, safety experts suggest five years maximum for caravan tyres. We would recommend if you change one, you change the pair so you get an even um, reaction when you're towing with the caravan. Every caravan should have tyre on safety bands. When the caravan got a puncture, a blowout basically, when it went down to the rim, that's when the caravan starts to go out of control. But with the tyre on, it rests on that. It's a solid, like, if you like, like an inner tube. I've seen a caravan that's, that's lost a wheel and it's, it's turned over. It's been on its, it's on its side, on the side of the road. Clothes and, and, and the equipment from the caravan itself strewn across the road. Luckily, the people were OK, but uh, it's not a nice sight. And you just know that that's a holiday ruined. Tyre on safety bands would have stopped that problem happening. I've got a tip of the day for 4x4 users, you need towing mirrors. The most important thing you need to have that police officers would spot if you haven't got is a set of towing mirrors. The mirrors give you an all-round view of what's happening, what may um, cause you to have to do something in with reference to your driving. If there's a coach or lorry coming up behind you is going to overtake you, that is going to have an effect on what your caravan does. You need to be ready for that. Safety to me means you've got to have a well-balanced unit. If you don't have a well-balanced unit, it will put you off caravaning for good, it really will. Probably the worst scenario would be a snaking incident. If you load your caravan right, and that's keeping everything low down, everything weight over the axle line, keep your nose weight not too heavy, your caravan will be very stable. Plus, of course, you've got all these safety devices. ATC Base is a tracking control system that if the caravan starts to go offline, it'll pull you back again. ATC, which is a sort of traction control system, which kicks in if the caravan looks like it's, going to, it's, it's coming out of kilter. There's also the hitch stabiliser. Most caravans have some sort of um, hitch head stabiliser fitted to them, and it's really, as you part of your hitching up, it's on and away you go. You don't need to really think any more about it than that. It does start to stop the pitching, it also keeps the caravan unstable. One of the important things that people sometimes forget is to actually attach the caravan properly to the car. And I'm not just talking about clicking the tow ball on. When you've got that fastened, and on most hitches, it will give you a little indicator to show that's properly connected on the hitch. These days, the Caravan Club and the Camden Caravan Club and there's some private organisations now that actually run towing courses. Even if you think you know about towing, it's well worth going on a towing course. It's amazing the things you'll learn. I myself went on a refresher course with the Camping and Caravan Club a couple of years ago at the NEC and I've been to it a long time but I learned some new tricks. When it comes to caravan safety, fit as much as you possibly can. We offer discounts of up to 60% for a wide variety of safety devices. You start off with things like hitch head stabilizers at the lower level or you'll move up to a sophisticated device like Alco's ATC anti-snaking system. We also offer discounts for tyre on safety bands and tyre pal pressure monitoring systems.